The tongue may be the most obvious, but it's not the only organ involved in taste. The best way to enjoy a mint is to crunch it. Its released vapors drift up the back of the throat to the densely packed receptors at the top of the nose. This is where we sense its mintiness. And it's not just mint. Food vapors of all kinds assault our smell cells. 90% of what we perceive as taste is actually smell. Smell is 10,000 times more sensitive than taste. You can't taste much when you have a cold because food aromas can't get up your blocked nose. Smell triggers the whole process of tasting. It makes your mouth water. Smell something tasty, and under your tongue, a saliva gland squirts into action. Saliva helps us digest food and is essential for tasting it. The watery liquid dissolves flavor molecules so they can react with our taste buds. We can't taste with a dry mouth. There's a third perception involved in tasting, a special sense of touch. <coughs> Tom has just used it. Spicy foods and pungent smells stimulate the trigeminal, a super sensitive nerve running around the inside of his mouth and nose. It makes our eyes water from a hot curry or an unwise helping of mustard. But smell dominates the savor of flavor. That's why professional tasters are called noses. These wine tasters know that their art is as much a matter of smell as taste. The room has been carefully prepared. No flowers, no smoking. No smells that could distract their noses from the subtle message in a wine bottle. They have prepared their palates by avoiding harsh food and drink, such as coffee, which deadened the taste buds. There's that gentle spiciness, isn't there? The tasters protect their noses by avoiding aftershave or hairspray. This taster's palate is so sensitive, he can pinpoint the vineyard where a single grape was grown. He can even tell you the year. The soil, climate, and winemaking customs all subtly alter the chemical composition of wine, and thus, the taste. A connoisseur may spend years investigating the tastes that make up the complex flavor of a wine. He sucks lemons for acidity, sniffs freshly sawn oak logs, and sucks tea leaves loaded with tannin, learning to instantly recognize each flavor component. He checks the color of the wine and then swirls it to release the vapors. This odd gargling releases more of the wine's flavor molecules. The wine delivers its four basic tastes to the tongue. As he draws air through the warmed wine, the back of his nose is filled with its complex aroma. Anna and Tom don't have trained noses, but even the average sense of smell is incredibly refined. 
A tiny change in just one of the 600 chemical components of coffee will make it seem bitter. Smell is unique among our senses. It has the most direct route into the brain. The nerves that pick up smell are virtually an extension of the brain itself. And unique among brain cells, they renew themselves. Smell cells continually divide and grow. You get a new nose every two or three weeks. Blast out your taste buds with a really hot chili, and they too will regrow. The nerve cells in the nose fire straight into the limbic system, the brain's memory bank. Smell something once, and you'll never forget it. The reaction is an age-old defense mechanism that protects the body. Eat or drink something that makes you sick, and it will always repel you. But smell's survivalist roots have an unexpected consequence. With a whiff of candle smoke, we feel the excitement of Christmas. The scent of the sea can take us back to childhood vacations. Smell is the most evocative sense, deeply connected with memory and the emotions. Smells can excite or relax us. They can arouse us or make us romantic. An aura of mystery surrounds this elusive power of the brain, captured in the ancient art of perfume making. For centuries, perfumers have created their own secret recipes from a range of fragrant ingredients. Roses and jasmine provide sweet aromas. Citrus fruits and berries, a sharper scent. An exotic touch comes from spices, vanilla, dried roots, oak moss, incense, and myrrh. Synthetic smells can provide the pungency of a snuffed-out candle. Every perfume house has its own library of smells. The seduction of musk, the zest of pine, all captured in a bottle. Blending these fragrances is the essence of the perfumer's art. No words can truly describe aromas, so perfumers borrow terms from the other senses, such as green, sharp, even caring. And because smells are tightly bound to our emotions, they influence our perceptions. The sharp scent of fresh lemons seems clean. The sultry tang of jasmine whispers mystery. Scientists may analyze the sense chemically, but no amount of technology can replace the human factor. A professional perfumer has a working knowledge of over a thousand fragrances. She blends aromas as a composer combines musical notes. Sniff the perfume. The first smell is like the top note of a musical chord. It's the most volatile ingredient. It soon evaporates, leaving more lasting fragrances, the middle and base notes of her composition.